Coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight division collision. Well, he's one of the more accomplished strikers in this division. Sprawl and brawl, whatever you want to say, he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. It does not matter how he accomplishes it. All he wants to do is be on his feet and at range, hitting you with the beautiful jab, staying away from the grappling exchanges. You don't accomplish all the things that this man has accomplished over the course of his career without understanding distance. He has great distance management, which then in turn allows him to land all these beautiful diverse kicks, spinning back kick, jumping high kick, so many things he possesses that he will try to use tonight in this fight. Yeah, if this turns into a kickboxing match tonight, most it's people over. believe, yeah, his opponent is in a it's world over, of JK. trouble. Well, when you're fighting this guy, DC, you know as well as anyone, it makes for a suffocating night at the office. Here he is, Khabib Nurmagomedov, putting his status as one of the best fighters on the planet on the line yet again tonight. He does it every time he steps foot in the octagon. And when they say it's suffocating, they talk about the strength of Habib. Even our teammates say, it does not feel like you're going with a lightweight. You right. feel like you're fighting a light heavyweight. And what do you expect from a guy that spent his childhood wrestling with bears? <laughs> he is so strong. He's so physical in the hard work and the intensity of which he trains with only shows when he steps foot in the octagon. One of the most skilled guys the UFC has ever seen. We always talk about the wrestling and the grappling and the sambo, right. but don't sleep on Habib Nurmagomedov striking. And we saw shades of that in the McGregor fight. Javier Mendez says at times he likes to go southpaw in training. He can't hold you down. Ah, he can't hold me right. down, but Just it's okay. Sure. It's okay. You can't win them all, Habib. <laughs> Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. More than a decade separates these two fighters when it comes to the age with similar height and some differences in reach. We send it inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. It's who does he first? Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 237 pounds. Lights out! And now it's producing his opponent. Fighting out of the red corner. This man is a grappler, holding a professional record of 29 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, Habib the Eagle, Nurmagomedov! You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. The fighters touch gloves. a fantastic fight environment. New York City, baby, the city of dreams. Ooh, what a punch. Oh, Superman punch is good. You can tell he's been working on that. Connects now with the one-two. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Nice elbow. I can't tell if that opened up a cut or not. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the show. Nice head kick. Oh, collar tie. Nice punch there by Nemanko Menov. There's no tell on that leg kick. Stuffs 
the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? He has a commitment to kicking tonight and shows. Well, you start to really worry about the wrestling, and there's that left hand from Cubby. Underrated. I mean, it's a very underrated part of his game, his ability to stand and strike with anybody in the UFC. You gotta be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. Nurmagomedov gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Gotta find a way to move those feet. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Lands a big elbow there. When you're in the clinch, you can pull down on the head and land a beautiful punch to the head. Oh, a nice punch out of the break there after he had caught the leg. So he is really starting to put it all together now and clearly seems to have found the timing of his opponent. 25 total strikes have now landed for Khabib Nurmagomedov. Flips the punch. All right, single collar tie now. Big punch land in the middle. The uppercut flails and misses. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Slips the punch nicely there. Oh, beautiful jab by him there. Got that to the target quickly. He's dictating the fight with a jab. Left hand punch from the clinch. Just over two minutes to go. Oh, nice connection by him there with the right hand. The right hand is the dominant hand, and you can see how well he throws it. Nurmagomedov gets caught with that punch. Got to shore up the defense here. Just missed with the left there. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. With 90 seconds to go in round one. Right hand punch from the clinch. That's a pretty good right hand there by your teammate, Khabib Nurmagomedov. You're so worried about the wrestling that when the hands come, you're not expecting it. And Khabib lands early and he lands off. So he stuffs another takedown there. He talked to us about how hard this training camp was in terms of the defensive wrestling, but he certainly put in the right work. He did a great job of recognizing the threat, understanding that he could not allow his opponent to get to his hips. He never allows his opponent to get to his hips. And because of that, he's been safe. You gotta dig deep here. Nice jab by Nurmago Medal. Combination lands for him. He is really putting his strikes together tonight. I mean, he's feeling himself tonight, John. He's doing a great job of putting everything together. And they separate. And he caught the kick. Good punch. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Wow. Looking to establish the jab here. Nicely done by Nurmago Meta. I mean, he's cutting down the side with these beautiful leg kicks. They continue to exchange. Ooh, that uppercut landed for him. Let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last one. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. You gotta set up these shots. You just can't go out there and telegraph the shots. They're never gonna work, right? You gotta set up these takedowns with punch. All right, next round is underway. He has proven throughout his career to be a hard guy to take down, and that is on full display yet again here tonight. He is just so confident in his takedown defense, and he never truly leaves himself exposed. When he's striking, he's always very aware that the level change can always come. When you do level change, he sprawls, takes his underhook, and he circles. Another reason he's so hard to take down is he never allows you to get him to the side of the octagon. Most of his fights take place 
right to center. Right. Great defensive anticipation there in the previous round. We'll see if it continues here. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. Oh, that's a nice strike there by Nurmago Medov. You're always thinking wrestling when you fight Habib, but you better be very weary of his stand-up. He's developing the skill every wow. single day. And potentially a critical takedown here. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off this back DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Well, he's got his back now. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this? Another shot lands upstairs. Oh, beautifully placed with the hook there by Nurmago Medov. He blocks the puck. Oh, nice slip there. Great head movement overall by this guy defensively today. He does a great job of moving his head side to side and really mixing up the motion at which he moves. Single collar tie now. Nurmago Medov's got the tie clinch now. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one. And now starting to find himself in the pocket. And they separate. Just out of range with that right hand. Punch coming, it's blocked. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Nice straight punch. And they separate. Slips to avoid that left. Just out of the range with that right hand. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Thus far, 81 total strikes have now landed for Khabib Nurmagomedov. Accuracy rate has dipped a little bit, 39% now on the connections against Khabib Nurmagomedov. Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands, and he's doing a nice job protecting the dome. He's doing a great job of blocking his head. A lot of times, those shots to the head will knock you out. Not this time. This guy's making sure nothing lands. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Nice punch there. Back and forth we go. Huge block there. Forty-five seconds remain in the round. Oh, and he tags him with the straight, beautifully placed there by Nurmago Medov. And plenty of time with which to work. Thirty seconds to go in the round. Oh, he continues to land a high number of strikes in this round. Really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. Certainly have to be mindful that you don't gas out, but you gotta like the output on display here. Effective punch there by Nurmago Meta. Pretty good right hand. Ooh, blocks the shot. <laughs> All right, we now take a look back at some of the highlights from that last round, DC. A lot for the replay guys to choose from. I mean, these guys are going to be very busy trying 
to find what replay to show you guys. Lands on both sides of the octagon. Both guys fought great. What a phenomenal round. All right, the action continues here and now as our next round gets underway. The previous round won't be confused for a round of the year, but pretty good action. It was a pretty good round. Not every round is going to have you standing up out of your seat. You understand that you're watching the highest level of fighting in the entire world in the UFC. Oh, and he lands another strike to the body. Not a ton of real estate there, but he certainly found it. Slips the punch. Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tucked, the hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything coming. Ooh, what a punch. Oh, single collar tie here. Wind it up on the right there to no avail. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. All right, some really grueling work here in the clinch. Both fighters really struggling to gain a dominant position. That happens whenever you understand the position. Both know exactly what they need to do. And when both fighters are trying to do the same thing, it's very, very difficult to get the desired result. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. Throwing that jab now again, the fighter evades. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combination, he's still safe, but he's also gonna be able to land. He's gotta be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Oh, knee to the head, that never feels good. He's got a serious right punch and he went to it effectively there. It is his money shot and he will continue to throw it until he finds an option. Connects with the right hand, pretty good punch that one. Nice right punch by this young man. Timely defense there, huge block for him. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any. Oh! He's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. So holding on to him here, not doing a ton, perhaps just looking to recover. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Ramago Medov's shot is blocked. Beautiful straight punch there. His boxing fundamentals are just so clean. Oh, he looks so sharp tonight. his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. All right, working inside the closed guard now. All right, so you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't wanna mess around for too long. All right, so he's sort of turtled up here. Not great body language. Perhaps he's trying to bait him in a little bit. Closed guard. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Beautiful punch.
get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. A full-on display of all of his skills. He did everything in this championship winning performance. He used his wrestling. He used his elbows. He used his pace and pressure to really wear down his opponent so that he can get his hand raised. Here now, Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Gaines going to stop to this contest at four minutes, 27 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout, Khabib the Eagle, Well, there will be no shutting that smile off tonight. The celebration is on as he gets a huge win by knockout tonight. I got to think there are a few better feelings in the world than walking into an octagon and Candidly knocking another man out quick. Yeah, you set a person's lights off, man. There's nothing like it. Now, I understand a lot of times you hope for the knockout, but he was never hopeful. He was sure that he would get it done, and he did exactly that. Congrats.